Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Twilight Princess. The last time we attempted to restore Ilya's memory, and we had to go back to the Wild Wild West to meet with the old lady, who gave us an ancient book at Skywriting. But it was missing a word, so we had to use our rod to go around to all of the owl statues and slowly restore the word, which we did. Now we gotta check out the book and see what this bad boy does. No effect. Well, shit, that kind of throws a spender in the works. What's Midna have to say? You got the feeling that this is what you already. This doesn't help, Midna! Doesn't help at all. Okay. Oh, okay, I get it. We have to take it back to the Harry Potter guy, because we tried to he tried to read it last time and he couldn't because the word was missing, but I I'm pretty damn sure we restored it. I'm gonna be very disappointed if we didn't, but I'm sure that's what it said last time. I don't know, I guess we'll see. But uh, yeah, anyway. So I would imagine we are pretty damn close to the next dungeon of the game, and that should be our final mirror piece. So I would be surprised if there's any more dungeons after that, except maybe Hyrule Castle. I don't know how that's going to work, maybe that's just going to be the showdown with Ganon. Maybe it's going to be, you know, a whole dungeon, maybe it's going to be a mini dungeon. Maybe it's going to be nothing, I have no idea whatsoever, but... Yeah, I would imagine either way, we are pretty damn close to the end of the game, which... On one hand, it kind of makes me sad, because I enjoy this game so much. But on the other hand, it means we're close to Wind Waker, so... I'm excited for that. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Can you read it now? If not, I'm gonna break your kneecaps. Is this that book from last time? Hmm. Are there more letters in the word than the last time I looked at this? There better be. How did you investigate the... Link! This is amazing! Amazing! Now, this must be the word we need. Let's try it immediately. Ah, finally. Ah! It has taken on the same shape as the other statues. What can this mean? Well, it probably means I have to use the Dominion Rod if I were to guess. And I thought we had solved the last of the riddles. Blast! How confounding. I must apologize, Link. I need to cool off a tad before I mull the problem further. Aw, oh, Harry Potter's all depressed and shit. Don't worry! you are beat Voldemort, it's okay. Okay, well, we know what we have to do here, and yes, I'm gonna get the grappling hook ready, because it kind of bothers me having an empty slot like that. I don't know, I'm weird. That's right, you get out of there. Okay, so what's going on in here? Is this the dungeon? It's supposed to be in the heavens, right? What the hell was that? Oh! It's giant cannon. Let me guess, we shoot ourselves to the heavens. Link? How in blazes did you move that statue? And what's this? Green giant sweet corn. Amazing! Spectacular. This must be the sky cannon I read about in my father's notes. I knew that my intuition was onto something when it led me here. But, how can one use this to get to the city in the sky? What's called a sky cannon, you moron? What do you think? God damn it, Harry Potter. Okay, well, Yes? A cannon, huh? What do you plan to do with this, Link? Oh, I can warp. Why would I... Except that guy's still watching us. Uh... Harry, can you, like, turn around for a second? Can I do it now? Uh, Midna, talk to me. Can... yeah, yeah, can I warp? No, okay, so he's still looking at me. Can I, like, turn to a wolf and scare him away or something? Buddy, get the hell out of here. Ah! Yes. Perhaps I'm in your way. Well, forgive me for not realizing. I shouldn't just disappear at times like this, really. So let me know the results another time, Link. Well, that was easier than I expected. Ah, yes. Let me give you one last piece of advice. That seems to be broken, so you do want well to show it to a cannon expert first, I should say. Farewell. A cannon expert? Okay. I wonder if I put him off. Yeah, maybe. You put everyone off. Ah, who am I kidding? Midna's okay. Oh yeah, so, once again, we can warp. Where would we... I'm, I'm like really wrecking my brain here. We must know a cannon expert. I feel like it's gonna be a dwarf for some reason, even though I don't think Zelda has dwarfs. Um... Wait a minute! The, 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 the guy in Lycalia, he has a cannon. He shot us to the freaking Gerudo Desert. 
I don't know how it took me so long to remember that. God damn. Oh, we can actually warp it there. So we're just gonna like plonk the cannon down in front of him. Isn't he gonna find that a little bit strange? And yeah, that does seem quite busted. I have no idea how it took me that long to remember the dude with the freaking cannon. And again, I don't know, my brain for some reason was like, it's a dwarf. I don't know why. Dwarfs and cannons go together, I guess. Well, that works. Okay, so... What do I... Do? Oh, he's over there, isn't he? Can I... I guess we just need to turn into a human and go talk to him and be like, Yo, bro, I found this cannon. Don't ask how it got there. Can you, like, fix it? Because I need to shoot myself up into the heavens. Only in a Zelda game. <laughs> Only in a Zelda game would what I just said actually make any sense. Hey, buddy, you're a sad clown. That's, that's why he said that was creepy. So, uh, is that yours? <laughs> hey, buddy, never thought you'd get so hooked on fantastication that you try to build your own cannon. So you're gonna give me a tour at once. Looks like you have a serious rig over there. Apparently I do, yeah. Why do you look like the Hunchback of Notre Dame? Whoa, it's kind of retro, huh? And there's no ignition device, so you can't even use it. Listen, buddy. I suppose I might be able to fix it for you. I mean, maybe. What do you want? That is, if you can pay me 300 rubies in advance. What do you say? Yeah, why not, man? We got a bunch of cash flowing around. Yeah, I knew you'd see the line, buddy. Now I'll just be a sec. You better be. For 300 rupees, you better be damn quick. I can't help but notice you didn't seem to achieve anything, you just kind of teleport around it. <gasps> it looks like a robot now! Can we wear it like a mech suit? Here we go, buddy. Working as it should, I think. It may look like junk, but this thing's got some powerful innards. You're gonna be knocking on the door to the heavens? Seriously, bud, it might be rough. So, I'm sorry for soaking you for the dough. I'll leave you alone then. Hey, you, you should be. <laughs> well, you just have all the fun you want. Okay, buddy. All right, then, I will. Get out of here, creepy man. Everyone in this game is creepy. Just it to varying degrees. It really does kind of look like, sort of like a dinosaur cannon. Oh, there's a grappling point. I was like, how do we use this? I guess we just grapple ourselves in. How do we light it? Can you light it? That would be handy. Well, all right, then. This is both badass and extremely strange. And I kind of like that. Well, who knew it was so easy to get to heaven? Then again, who am I kidding? That wasn't easy. That was a great deal of work. Hello, you're weird looking. You have nipples. We were gracious, we made it back, finally. Welcome, adventurer. This is the Sky City of the Oka. Um, since you came all this way, I guess I can give you a tour of the city. Oh, it's a city? I thought it was just going to be a dungeon. Eek! That's a bloody great dragon. Is that made of metal? Eh, yeah, maybe not. I look kind of like a metal dragon. Either way, that's cool as hell. I'm guessing that's going to be the boss. Oh god, there are two of them. It's like aliens. Oh goodness, brave adventurer. You won't believe it. It's not Bella. There's a dragon raging outside the city walls. So... Oh. I'm terribly worried about everyone. I'm going to check in that shop for survivors. Oh, okay, so there's a shop over there. I wonder if we can use it. I damn well hope so. Okay, so we're in the sky, and apparently there's a city here. That's very cool. Well, before we go checking out the shop, let's, uh, hey, I see a chance down there. You can't hide from me. I'm guessing this is probably just going to be money, but then again, we just blow, did just blow 300, so... Any money is going to be freaking handy. What do we get? We got 20. Well, you know, it's something, I guess. It's always disappointing when you get 20. You're like, come on, man, couldn't it have been a 50 or a 100 or something? Or a heart piece? 20 is like the bare minimum, really, you can get. I do see another chest over here, though. My inkling tells me this is also going to be a 20. But a man can dream, Connie. A man can dream. 
Come on, 100 or hoppies. Bombs, 20. Well, I think we needed some bombs. I don't think we need that many because I recently bought a shit ton. But we're probably going to be full on them now, so at least there's that. And yeah, this was the direction to the shop, right? I d Whoa! Okay, apparently it's windy up here in heaven. Who'd have thunk it? So, oh, hey, Bonnie. Oh, for God. You want to die? Yeah, I thought you might. Come here, you. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Gotta be careful of that. Apparently we can just get blown off the edge. That was close. The hell are they? They're like eggs. I guess that makes sense because there's weird bird people. I see a sense of theme here. Hello? Okay, symbols. You're Hylian, no? I speak a little Hylian. You understand me? See something you want? I don't know. We might need a potion, I don't remember. Come again. Do we need a potion? Yes, we do. We have an empty bottle. I don't remember. Oh, it's, uh... I remember now. I emptied it for the... The hot spring water. Okay, so I remember blue potions in A Link to the Past restored magic and HP, and red fully restored your HP, but it seems like blue... I mean, there's no magic in this, put it that way. Okay, so we got a blue potion, so does it tell me what it does? Yes, okay, so it restores all of your hearts, and the red ones only restore eight, which is what the soup does. Hello? Oh, um, sorry for earlier, adventurer. Are you Aka? Okoko? What are you? Oh, but you're playing and walking around the city and taking in the sets. I'm worried about the others, and this is an emergency. I can't just stand around waiting. Please take me to you. I won't help you warp to the surface, but I will bring you back to the shop anytime. That sounds handy. Oh, oh, Ukok? I really don't know how to pronounce that. Like, I'm genuinely trying. O O C C O O. Uk, U, Uku? Maybe? I don't know. And by the way, this is a freaking cool looking shop. There's like weird egg, like, chambers? They look like cryogenic chambers. Maybe that's why they sleep in? I don't know. It's very strange. It also reminds me a little bit of like those weird claw machines. Well, they're not even claw machines, but those machines that you put money into and you get like a rogue. Oh, yeah. Okay, the boots do work. It's kind of what I thought. But, uh, it reminds me of those machines. I don't know if anyone's familiar, but at least when I was a kid, there was machines at like arcade and theme parks and shits. And you put money in and you get like a random egg-shaped thing come out. And they give you a random crappy toy or whatever inside. I think they're from Japanese culture. So it would make sense that maybe, you know, Nintendo being a Japanese company... Oh god! Being a Japanese company possibly modeled those on that thing? I oh, don't know, I'm freaking rambling. Holy shit! I'm going off the side, man! Oh god, it's eating me! They're eating her! And then they go eat me. Oh god. Okay. And yes, I will quote Troll 2 every damn time. It just, you know, Google the clip. Troll 2, they're eating her. Something like that. It's just like really terrible voice acting. And yes, I see that up there. I'm guessing we have to shoot that to open the gates. Looks like the things we found in some of the other dungeons. Or what if the... Yeah, look like the wind actually stopped my arrow from even coming from the bow. I was going to say, I wonder if the wind changes the direction of the arrow, but... It seemed like it just killed it. City in the sky. Going up to the city in the sky. City in the sky. Something, something, place when I die. That also looked like a golden egg. There's a lot of eggs going around around here, man. That also looks like an egg. And this building looks like it. There's eggs everywhere. I don't even like eggs. I seem to be the only person I know that doesn't like eggs. I'm sorry, I just don't like them. It's, it's gross. That's what a... Okay, well that chicken just suicided. Did it come back again? You have so much to live for, don't be suiciding. Okay, so the fact that I can pick this up and not talk to it... Yeah, I, I can't talk to these people. So I'm guessing I can just use these to fly across gaps like we can with the cuckoos. That makes sense to me. Oh, apparently those ones that are a different color... ...just very slowly fall into the abyss. I'm guessing we don't want to go in the abyss, because, you know, it's an abyss. And also see a vine here that we can grapple onto. Do we want to do that? Is this just for getting back? It kind of looks like it. Okay, well, screw it. Bonsai! Yeah, like a champ. Okay, so, oh, hey, buddy. Oh, the gun! Jump attack! Get ya. Okay, and you give me a heart I don't need, but, you know, thanks anyway. Okay, so I'm getting the feeling we are gonna need... 
I didn't really want to pick you up. I was trying to pick up the shot. I was going to say, I get the feeling we... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, just go back. Like... Damn it. Well, we're dead. So, I'm guessing we go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Yes. Okay, so note to self. Don't do that. That was just a bad idea. Just fly on the chicken and keep the hell away from that shit. And made that guy respawn. I wonder, I bet we can drive these off the edge. You know what, whilst I think about it, yeah, you can grapple hook the shells off. That's kind of awesome. You need to remember to do that, because that makes those dudes way easier. Alright, so I'm guessing we need to grapple hook up here, because otherwise, I don't see where else we could possibly go. Why are the chickens just walking on the walls? Can I grapple the chicken off the wall? Yes, I can. Haha. So you can foil me with your physics. Well, you can't. Oh, there's a couple more of these dudes. Chicken, get out of here. It's not safe, chicken. It's not safe. Yeah, I threw his shell at his body. That's kind of awesome. I also love the fact that you can just literally rip their shells off and use it as a weapon against them. That's brutal and freaking awesome. Like, that's a really cool game mechanic. Like, yeah, the combat in Zelda games is not difficult, generally speaking, but... The actual, like, mechanics involved are usually very cool. There's some imaginative, desi imaginative design going on. I can speak English. This is a ginormous room. That looks like a Pokemon. Looks like, uh... What the hell's it called? Oh shit, okay, it's gonna ram me. I'm guessing I can't grappling hook your head off. Yeah, I can't really do much with the ball and chain either. Well, I'm guessing we could probably look him down here, because this is, uh... It's gonna be some of those trapdoor thingies. Sorry, buddy, come over here. There we go. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Suck on that. Why can I not remember of the name of the freaking Pokemon that I'm trying to think of? It's like an elephant with armor on it. Donphan? I think that's the, like the the, the non-evolved version. Right, right, Agron? I don't bloody know. Can I speak to you as a wolf? Uh, apparently not. That was a good idea, you know. Maybe we could have got some information, but. Apparently they just don't speak to us. I guess it does make sense, because the one in the shop said that she or he, I'm assuming it's a she, I don't know. They look feminine to me, it's kind of strange. But uh, the one in the shop mentioned that he or she spoke Hylian. So, assumably the rest of them speak, you know, air people language. So, I guess they just can't understand us. I thought maybe being a wolf would break that barrier, but apparently not. Oh yeah, so what the hell's going oh. We're all shit. Okay, we're outside and it is windy, so we need the Boots of Justice again. And... Yeah, I saw you there, buddy. You tried to eat me. You son of a bitch. See, again, speaking of, like, really cool... Oh my god. Speaking of really cool mechanics, like these dudes, you can cut them off of their stems, and then they bounce around, and... I actually discovered this off-screen, but if you leave them, they can actually get back onto their plants and regrow again. How damn cool is that? Speaking of cool, I just spotted a place we can actually use the spinner. Oh baby. Okay, so what does this do? Besides amuse the hell out of me with the animation. It's not doing... Oh, it's doing something. I can... Yeah, I was gonna say, I, was gonna say, I could hear it. Okay, so we got a bridge. I didn't even realize we needed a bridge there, so it's kind of lucky we came this way. Otherwise, I might have just jumped into the abyss. Okay, so I guess we're gonna keep going. And yeah, there's a lot of birds around here. Oh, shit! Oh, God, okay. That was close. Okay, we don't need the boots now. Anyway, point is we have a locked door over there and we don't have a key, so... We're getting the hell out of here. So, there was two more directions to go in out here, I think. I don't know how we get to the one across the giant gap, though. Because it's above us. This, I don't think we can go across there with the cuckoos. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. So... Yeah, I don't think that's gonna reach. But there is two grappling points. Why would I... This this is surely not going to help me, right? Like... Can I swing on this thing and I didn't know it? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can just go up and down. This is what I'm saying. I don't think we can make it across here with a cuckoo. And yeah, that's just me dropping into the abyss. That's not exactly that helpful. Well, shit. Okay. Think, brain, think. I guess we need to go up here. That might be something we can do later. I don't know. Maybe there's like a platform or something we can raise or a, a dungeon item that allows us to go across there because 
I mean, clearly grappling hook is involved somehow, but I don't know how that's gonna work. Oh, hey, buddy. With all these uh, weird bird things around. Okay. I see a hole up there. Can I grapple onto the mesh? Yes, I can. Okay, good. As I said, nothing else out here. And we're inside a fan. Strange. Doesn't seem to be anything going on inside the fan. I mean, like, does the game want me to start the fan with the gal boomerang or something? Would make sense. You know, it is windy around here. And that's what the gal boomerang does. I don't know. But, oh, we can grapple onto that. Okay. But what do we do now? See, these look like propellers. As if they're supposed to... It looks to me like we're supposed to start this fan, it's gonna blow wind and make the propeller spin. And that way we can grapple onto them and then it's gonna allow us to get onto the other side of the propeller, if that makes sense. That's all well and good. But how do we power up the fans? Because the gal boomerang... Okay, the gal boomerang doesn't work on that. I, I really doubt it's gonna work on the propeller in there. Can we, like, hit it with a ball and chain? I feel like this is gonna be something we have to activate somewhere else in the dungeon. But, you know, it's not gonna stop me trying. But yeah, I get the feeling it's gonna be like a lever or a switch or something, and it's gonna power this up. And then... Is that the dragon? That doesn't look like one of the birds. I think that's the dragon up there. Okay, so that might be where we take on the boss. It might be a mini boss. I don't know. Yeah, right now, I don't really know where to go. Anyway, I guess I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciate it a lot. And I will see you next time for more Twilight Princess.